So in this video, I'll talk about the test studio uh, that we have in Power Platform. So I have created this simple app uh, for which I am going to automate uh, some test cases. So test studio is an experimental feature that we have it over here uh, from your right panel. If you go to advanced tools, you can open the test studio from here. So in this uh, tutorial, I'm going to show how we can record test cases so that you don't have to uh, do testing over and over again manually. You can run this uh, test case and uh, implement this. So first thing is we have suite which is collection of test cases that we want to run. So in this suite, I'm going to record a test case. Uh, so you can just come here. You can rename the suite name uh, depending on what the collection of test cases makes sense. And you can rename the cases as well. Call this create a new form. Ah, uh, sorry, create a new record. So this is a test case that I'm going to implement. I'm going to record. And now my app is going to open. So over here, uh, I can put a list of uh, cases that are going to happen. So I create a record. So there's the Android. So here you can see the series of steps that I have done is being recorded and now it is being saved as a list of cases, a list of steps that happens within a case. So these are the cases. Now I can play this and while playing this, it will ask me to, so I publish it and it plays the test case automatically. So I'm going to do nothing and it'll just run the case over and over again. So in cases when you have long forms or you have multiple steps that needs to be done, you don't need to manually test now. You can just record your steps and it will automatically do all these cases for you. So it's uh, testing my, it's putting the email, it's putting the name, it's putting the last name uh, and it's going to submit. So yeah, we have two John Doe here. The record has been created because of the test. So now, uh, so in this suite, this is just one test that we are we have done. So if you go here, you can add a new step here. And this step uh, is, you can add another step here. You can uh, code here to put the new step. Uh, you can just remove this new step. Uh, if you want to add a new case, like I created a new record, I might want to uh, do another case. So I can click new case and I can do the recording again. So in this case, I will just create another record. So there can be lots of lots of multiple cases that can happen. Uh, I'll just rename this as create another record. So uh, either you can run this case uh, from here when you click play, or you can go to suite and then run this both cases at once. So I'll just going to click play. I'm going to publish it. And what it does is it's going to play both of the cases at once so that uh, there can be multiple cases that you want to test in uh, in series of cases. In that case, you don't have to go uh, case by case, but you can just run the suite and it will run all the cases at once. So it's creating your first uh, case. So both of the cases that we have it here, it has successfully run and we have two more new records created. Now there are, when you created this case, these steps are uh, created and if you feel like uh, some of the steps are not needed, you can uh, delete it uh, or you can, what you can do is you can edit those cases here. It's within the Power Apps context. So all the codes that you use in Power Apps also work here. We'll talk about more about uh, test steps and test assertion in next video. Uh, just for example here, I can 
remove this and remove this because i just made a mistake that i and rename it to john so i just remove this test cases and within these steps also it can run so i'll just go to first one and play it publish it so it'll uh we're removing those cases uh, where i put the name as j a w n a i guess and then change it to john without that those steps also this is going to run so let's see So these kind of automation can improve your uh, performance, improve your testing scenarios. You don't have to do things over and over again. Uh, and there we go. Just before ending, you can also call, use this link, copy this link, and maybe you can send it to your uh, automation people and then they can just run within their browser as well. Test cases just within this link so it's just automatically doing things i'm not doing anything and that's how you can do these test automations uh see you in the next video thank you so much and don't forget to like and subscribe my channel